What's up guys, thanks for watching another video. I'm Tyler, also known as LOL Junk, and today is going to be a very cool video. So, we are going to be taking a set of stock cruise halogen headlights with a reflector housing. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be retrofitting HID projectors into the housing so we can get better light output at night and it just looks better uh, when you're driving. So this is going to be a very detailed step-by-step um, -step how to. Um, I'm going to try to record as much as I can and take you guys through the process so at the end of it I'll have some sick looking headlights and hopefully you can follow along and do the same thing yourself. These are the headlights. They're stock and they look kind of lame and boring so um, we're gonna change that up in this video um, so the first things first we got to take the headlights apart so um, you got to take the lens off of the headlight housing in order to get access to the inside so you can put in the projectors um, a lot of people like to bake headlights open and in most cases that works pretty well but with these headlights, they're perma-sealed, um, so baking them is very difficult to do. So what we're going to do is, what I've seen online, a couple people do this, is they take a hot knife to the, to the headlight. And I'm not talking like your normal butter knife. We're going to use a soldering iron with a little sharp knife attachment. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go along the headlight and we're going to just cut... Um, the headlight open with that that way we can take the lens off and then we will go from there so today I'm gonna just work on taking the headlights apart um, after I take them apart we'll work on uh, getting the parts ordered for the rest of the headlight Alright, so took the headlights apart as you guys just saw, um, or I should say, I took the plastic pieces off the headlights, the little plastic pieces, these ones, um, so they don't get in the way. I usually like to put my bolts and nuts and whatever into little bags so I don't come back to this and think, what did this bolt go to? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just putting everything in baggies and then um, we can move on to actually cutting the headlights open with the cutting tip for the soldering iron. So this is the soldering iron I'm using. It's just a Harbor Freight um, cheap soldering iron um, and it's got a tip on it for cutting and that is it right there. So. Hopefully I get these cut open all right with that tip and hopefully the soldering iron doesn't crap out on me because it is a Harbor Freight brand so I guess we'll see. So I'm going to continue putting these pieces away, organizing everything and making sure um, I'm not losing anything and then I'll show you guys uh, me cutting them open. So it's the next day. Off camera, I pulled the headlights apart, but I'm not really satisfied with how these headlights look in terms of like how clean or messy it looks. So <clears throat> as you guys can see, um, I don't know, a bit of a gap. Uh, they're kind of off here, but when I do get them aligned, there's a bit of a gap here because obviously I've burned away the material. Uh, with the soldering iron and so now that I'm able to pull these apart I can see the back side of these headlights I can see um, where the screws are 
and what I'm actually working with here. So I think I can actually come back at this again and redo it. But this time I'm gonna actually use a oscillating multi-tool to take apart the headlights. Shout out to Flyride for making that recommendation. They actually, uh, Flyride actually does this for a living, does this as his job, so um, he's a pro at this. And he actually recommends for Permaseal headlights, which the Cruises headlights are Permaseal, uh, to use an oscillating multi-tool. So I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like here. So this, is an oscillating multi-tool and there's a blade there on the end and basically just as it says it oscillates really quickly and you can cut things a lot cleaner um, so hopefully this is gonna look a bit cleaner when I use the oscillating multi-tool and if it looks good I think I'm actually gonna go to the junkyard and get another set of headlights because I don't know these are good to just kind of test things out these headlights that I have but uh, I want to do a good clean job with it so we may have to go to the junkyard and get another set Alright, so as you guys saw, I finally got the headlights taken apart with the oscillating multi-tool. This thing is the best. Jordan, shout out to you. Thank you so much for letting me borrow your multi-tool. This thing makes the headlights a breeze compared to the soldering iron and using a Dremel too. It just this is way more cleaner. Although, I do have some flakes and stuff on the bench and on the ground but hey look at this like just matches right up and then when we're done with all this all we have to do is just put sealant right in between the gap and we're good to go I mean look at the headlights are practically staying together um, on their own so with the other methodology I wasn't able to do that so these things just match right up and yeah we'll be able to seal these really well once uh, we get the projector retrofitted in there. So I think what I'm gonna do now is head to the junkyard. What's up? There, there are a lot of times where I'm like, there's no way I'd see anybody here and uh How you doing? This what are you pulling? Uh headlight. Got you. Okay. Yeah. What is this? Alright, so as you guys saw in that last clip, I was at the junkyard, got another headlight here. So this one's in pretty good tin condition. Um, this tab here is a little broken, but we can uh, fix that pretty easily. So I am going to put the GoPro on my head and do a little bit of a different angle um, while I'm cutting this one apart and we'll get to it. Also by the way, um, I'm going to be wearing different clothes very often because this is going to take me quite a while to do all these different steps that I have to do so going to be changing clothes and it's going to be a lot of different days of me talking to you guys so 
Let's get to uh, cutting this headlight open. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. But before I leave y'all, I want to make sure I set you guys up for the next video. So the next one, we're going to be doing the actual mounting of the projectors into the headlights. And I want to set you guys up to know what kind of parts I'm using for that video. So here we go. Here is the projectors that I'm using. They're just Amazon projectors. Nothing fancy here. They're the H1 uh, mini projectors, uh, 2.5 inch. I went with smaller set just because I wasn't sure if 3 inch projectors would fit in there. Um, but yeah, I went with the 2.5s and they are the Nylite brand. Of course, everything that I'm showing you is going to be linked down in the description below. For the bulbs and ballasts, we went with DDM tuning on this. DDM tuning is a bit more budget friendly than some of the no more known brands like Morimoto, etc. So we went with the 35 watt ballast and we went with the H1 bulbs since this is going to be an H1 setup, projector setup. And the bulbs are 5500 Kelvin color. Finally, for this retrofit, we're going to need a wiring harness. Basically, the wiring harness just tricks the car into thinking that the car is running regular headlights. And here is the harness that I went with. I know Morimoto makes a wiring harness, an H13 um, 9008 harness as well. That one is a bit more expensive, probably a bit better build quality. I would probably recommend going with the Morimoto version of this wiring harness instead of the eBay version that I got. Either way, will work. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in part two. Peace.